looking at texts and, and trying to work with singers but not in such close proximity with one that is so amazing and, and he is just so obvious about everything he wants to convey in the text and instantly I, I feel like my, my playing needs to, uh, to join him <laughs> so that's been quite interesting. Johnny and I put together a selection of, um, of various things in a few different languages. The idea being to uh, explore really the music of the Baroque era through some of the great composers. So we've got some Monteverdi, some Bach, we've got some Purcell from Britain, uh, we've got some Rameau from France. Um, and the idea is really to see what, uh, what this music can tell us about how we approach things about and what tech, the approach to text can tell us uh, about choices that we can make and about colours and uh, musical ideas that are available to us. It's actually my, my favourite thing to do. Uh, my sort of second great love in, in the arts is literature. And I derive immense satisfaction and pleasure from it and just sort of um, some of the ways in which they uh, make it into music and the amazing uh, context that was so culturally present around the music um, I think is uh, yeah, just very satisfying and quite enticing for the imagination. It's like a sort of um, embarrassing French cousin of the, of the Monteverdi, isn't it? Of Possente Spirito. Like it's the same kind of, it's the same bewitching, exactly, it's the same story. I think what is so wonderful about Nick is, um, yeah, his engagement with um, texts and context and rhetoric, uh, rhetorical delivery is uh, immensely strong and he's so passionate about it and has such a great understanding about the very specific bits of context and he has a very direct way of expressing it which is involved there's an emotional involvement to that context as well from Nick which is really quite inspiring <laughs> 